SDG&E is going to put 1,500 freeway speed electric vehicles on the road starting as early as next September. There are 40,000 electric vehicles on the road in the United States right now. I mean, I mentioned 300 just on campus at UCSD. Anytime I go into a, a college environment, I'll see typically hundreds of these, not only in fleet use on the campus, but also students and faculty coming, coming into the campus. In Asia, there are 80 million e-bikes and e-scooters in use every day. Um, many of these just cost two, three hundred dollars. They, for the first time, enable people to have some effective transportation. For some people, a electric vehicle with a hundred mile range isn't sufficient. So we're also seeing people that are converting vehicles, typically Priuses and Ford Escape hybrids, into plug-in hybrids. And over the next three years, we're going to see a number of major automakers, uh, such as uh, Ford, and Chrysler, General Motors, offering uh, fully warrantied plug-in hybrids. So it's basically driven by an electric motor. The electric motor gets its energy from a uh, battery, lithium-ion battery pack. But also an engine is, is coupled to a generator so they can get by with a very small engine, spinning in a generator, generating electricity that can either be delivered to the motors if needed or sent back to the battery pack. Here's a photo I took in front of City Hall in San Francisco. They have already converted a number of uh, Priuses um, and in the city uh, Ford Escape hybrids to be plug-ins. You go to City Hall, there's preferred parking where you can plug your vehicle right in.